a short disclaimer before the video. I am no expert in anything. I am just a random guy in YouTube. I just like to teach. In today's video, we will see how to manage bending type of this fracture with close reduction and plus repetition. And this is a classical distal radius bending fracture also known as the college fracture with classical deformities of shortening radial displacement radial tilt dorsal displacement dorsal tilt and supination of the distal fragment now we will see how to do closed reduction and plaster application to do it we are first giving linear traction The college fracture. We will see if it reduces a bit or the length is restored. Now you are B. Now we will slightly exaggerate the deformity. After exaggerating, we will reduce the deformity like this. Volar force and then ulna deviate and then pronate. Now so our fracture is reduced. No need to give traction here because our fracture is logged in reduced position. Now I will ask my assistant to keep the hand in volar flexion in ulna deviation like this i am feeling the reduction here now i will apply the slab so i am feeling the knuckles here this is the knuckles i will keep it just proximal to the knuckles <laughs> Now flex it as much as you can. Flex and ulna deviate. Now this slab will be below elbow dorsal slab. And after that I will apply a volar above elbow slab to control the rotation. Uh, for two weeks, after two weeks I will remove the volar slab and keep this dorsal slab. Volar slab is being applied as you can see here. And now it is again tied with the crepe bandage so that the fracture doesn't displace as the two slabs are compressed against each, each other. Here you can see that the volar displacement and the volar tilt are maintained here. Positive cortical reduction is also there which is ideal. Here you can see the radial displacement is reduced and the radial tilt and the length are maintained here. Now you must be wondering why I didn't put KMS or a plate in this fracture. Why I didn't apply a cast instead of the slab. Can all these distorted fractures be managed like this? And how can we manage different type of distorted fractures? So all these things we will see in my next video. So hope you like this video. Kindly like, subscribe and share. And see you next week.